everybody welcome back i know it's been quite some time since i posted a video i had internals and i was quite busy and today i am back with a new video it is a factual based video i know you would have heard about things like code blue or code red or code pink used in so many hospitals and most of us would be wondering as to why these codes are actually used okay so in this video i'll be talking about these codes and i'll be telling you about why these codes are used and what is its significance Now imagine if there is a condition like an acute MI in the hospital, or if a child is missing, or if there is a natu uh, natural calamity, or if there is a shooter in the hospital, everyone will panic, right? I including the doctors, patients, all the attendants, everyone will panic. So in order to avoid these confusions, people came up with these codes. Now once a code blue is given, all the people who are in the team of code blue will get alerted, and with their protocol, they will come forward in order to tackle the situation. And in this video, I will be talking about all the codes that are used generally and their significance. Firstly, I'll talk about code blue. Code blue is one of the very important codes that is used in so many hospitals many a times. It is used when a person undergoes an acute MI or a respiratory failure, a stroke, or when he experiences a sudden fall in BP. All these situations are such that if immediate treatment is not given, they'll collapse and die. That's why code blue is used. Whenever code blue is used, a team of people who are in that code blue will get alerted, and with their crash carts, they'll go and save that patient. Secondly, it is code red. Code red is used whenever there is a fire or smoke or fumes seen in the hospital. It might be seen by any hospital person or a patient. They can just alert the staff, and code red is given. Next, it is code black. Code black is used whenever there is a threat of bomb in the hospital. It can be seen by any patient or a doctor or any law enforcement authorities. Whenever there is a threat of bomb, a code red black is given. Next, it is code pink. Code pink suggests child abduction. That is, a child less than twelve months is kidnapped. The details of the child and the place from where the child is kidnapped is given along with code pink, so that people are alert and they can find the child as soon as possible. Fifth one is code violet. Code violet is used when the hospital is in some violent situation. Like in, it is taken under hostage by any agency or any person. That is when code violet is given. Coming to code orange, it denotes a spill of a hazardous material. It can be biological, it can be chemical, radionuclear, etc. Because of any institutional causes or a wanted cause or an accidental cause, uh, alert is given so that the patients get to know that there is a spill and they can evacuate the hospital as soon as possible. Next is code grey. Code grey is given when a person in the hospital, a patient, or an attendant, or an outsider is being very, very aggressive and abusive, and he can act as a threat to other people in the hospital. If you are someone who has watched Grey's Anatomy, you might be very familiar with code grey. It was given when a person came with a gun to shoot Derek. That is when code grey was given in Grey's Anatomy, and that scene was very dramatic, and it is a nice scene. I mean, it is very emotional to watch that. If you are a fan of Derek. You know what I'm talking about, right? Next, it is code yellow. Code yellow is used whenever a patient is missing from the hospital. Like I told you earlier, code pink is for the infants who are missing or any children who are less than one year, and code yellow is for any random, any general person who is missing. And in so many hospitals or in so many countries, for that matter, they even use color amber to denote a person who is missing and who is above one year of age. Next code is code white. Code white is used whenever there is threat in the hospital, meaning that a person can be abusive or aggressive on himself or to someone else. It is similar to code grey, but here it does not mean that he has to have any ammunition, and that's why he has to be a threat to the hospital. It can be self harm also. Just imagine a person who is standing in the hospital with a gun to shoot himself. That is when code white is used. And there is one more code. That is the last code. It is code brown. Code brown is used whenever there is a, a calamity happening elsewhere or near the hospital. It is to alert the staff member that something dangerous is happening outside, and there may be lots of casualties, and many patients will be coming to the hospital because of that calamity. It is when code brown is used. Now I have spoken about all these codes. And what happens is that in so many countries, some of these codes are interchanged. We in India follow the British system, so most of these codes are from there. 
if you just see that people using amber and or people using yellow or pink interchangeably for missing persons it is very common or it is not uh, of a matter of panic because there are variations here and there i hope that this video was helpful to you in some way or the other and if you have watched this video till now please hit that like button and share my videos with your friends and family who like videos like this i will be coming up with so many more videos of factual basis or related to education revision or blogs for that matter stay tuned to the channel until next time bye bye